Chairman, for allowing us this opportunity. We have our own governance thing tomorrow at 721 called the board meeting. So good afternoon, honorable members of LA City Council. I'm Bob Schoonover, President, SEIU 721. We're part of the city coalition, approximately 20,000 workers. Traveling each day in the city, and even traveling here today, there's one thing that's really apparent. Our infrastructure is of great neglect, OK? Our streets are in need of repair. The sidewalks are crumbling. We see intersections full of trash and bulky items. We see the same neighborhoods left behind again and again. The Great Recession is over. Business is booming. One look around the skyline, we all see all the cranes, we all see all the building. It's a boom in LA like I've never seen. The economy has recovered, but the fortunes of many Angelinos have not. It doesn't have to be this way, and a big part of the solution is in your hands. It's jobs, it's services, it's city services. They've been the backbone of the middle class and the entryway for a lot of the minority members in our community to get into the middle class for years. You know, during the last negotiations, there was a goal of 5,000 jobs, and I think we all know there's, there's nothing close to that. Unlike Wall Street and the banks, the residents of the city of Los Angeles and the workforce of the city of Los Angeles was not to blame for the big crash. We partnered with the city in the time of real crisis in 2008. In fact, we partnered more than one time to be sure that we could get through this. We accepted hiring freezes and all that stuff. But one thing is really different. We're sitting here with a budget, the biggest we've ever had. Every downturn in the economy, we've hired people and we've restored services, and we're not doing that. In the current budget, there's approximately 3,600 vacant positions. We should be paving streets. We should be recovering. The constituents of this city expect us to do these things. And they've been waiting a long time. Now, we are doing something about the sidewalks. We appreciate that. It's a perfect target for local hiring. You know, there was, a, there was a job fair at the Black Worker Center for entry-level jobs. The, the line was unbelievably long. There are people that need these jobs, want these jobs. These jobs go right back into our economy. Most of these people actually live in the city. A lot of them, they spend their money here. It benefits the economy. We're all interested in seeing the city succeed. We've also been very, very patient. It's time we recover, move forward, take care of some of the infrastructure needs we have, and recover and make this city great. We have the Olympics coming here a few years out. You know, we've done a really great job fixing potholes. That's all necessary. These streets really need to be paved. And we can do this. We've got to hire some people, and we've got to get to work. But we can do this. We look forward to partnering with you on this, just as we did when times were bad. I want to thank you for this time. Chairman, thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Schoonover. Appreciate your being with us, and thank you for your comments. I think one thing you'll hear throughout this hearing is um, uh, a sense of urgency by a lot of us, uh, probably all of us, about hiring to fill the positions that we have funding for. And it's a, a continuing aggravation for a lot of us that we have unfilled, funded positions in the budget. Um, and I think you're going to see that this 
committee is very much committed to getting those positions filled. So because service is what it's all about. So thank you very much. for Thank you very us. much.